Welcome to webinar clip six on touch typing and assistive technology to support dyslexic learners. One of the most common questions we are asked is should my child learn to touch type? Well, typing is a useful life skill for anyone, but if a student struggles with literacy and writing in particular, it can be a game changer as it can significantly improve both their attainment and their confidence. Often dyslexic students are bright verbally, but struggle to get their ideas down on paper. Their brain is often working faster than their writing speed. And so what we see in their written work is that words and sentences are missed out. Creative writing stories may have a beginning that goes on and on with little else towards the end, uh, despite them having wonderful creative ideas in their head. And this disconnect between their ideas and what is then produced as a piece of writing is due to any number of reasons, which may include slow handwriting speed, poor letter formation, a difficulty with spelling and so a reluctance to commit their ideas to paper, or poor organisational skills, or even a combination of all of these things, all of which can lead to anxiety and extreme frustration. Dyslexia assessors often recommend students learn to touch type as it can significantly speed up their writing and improve spelling, and we agree, but when is the right time to start? This of course can depend on the child, but the advice is usually around year four or year five onwards when your child's hands are big enough to use a keyboard proficiently and they are old enough to sustain their attention for a certain period of time to do daily practice. Touch typing sets up your child for success for when they reach secondary school and beyond, when they can be completing homework at a much faster pace and hopefully using a laptop in lessons when possible. Despite this and the fact that many learning to type packages are widely available, very few students are proficient typists. This stops them from accessing technologies that would dramatically improve their grades. There are many free or affordable typing packages available online, such as Nessie Fingers, Typing.com and the TTRS Touch Type Read Spell program for dyslexic learners, for example. If you want your child to be a proficient typist, it is highly advisable, if you can, to invest in some intensive holiday courses because results are faster and with proficiency comes confidence and a motivation to get quicker as soon as your child realises how useful it is and how much quicker it can be than handwriting. I can highly recommend Achieve Now, run by Caroline Bateman, who provides excellent remote touch typing and assistive technologies courses during school holidays, with the aim of students to be typing at least twice as fast as their handwriting speed by the end of the course. This is especially useful for older students in secondary school who still have a slow handwriting speed so that they can quickly gain keyboard skills to keep up with the huge increase in writing tasks for homework and in school. What sets Caroline's courses apart from other intensive touch typing courses is that it offers both the parents and the students advice and up to date information on assistive technologies to improve grades for dyslexic learners. And after an initial intensive four day program, her input with the students lasts the duration of the holidays with weekly sessions that include ongoing supervised practice, prizes for progress and effort and a positive group dynamic that motivates and encourages the students to succeed. The entire course is taught remotely and so can be done anywhere as long as you have access to the internet. For the purpose of getting ideas quickly down on paper, there are also brilliant free dictation tools now in Microsoft Word and on all iPads and iPhones. Leading on from the importance of laptop proficiency and typing, there are many other ways in which technology can help dyslexic students, particularly at secondary school age, most of which is freely accessible to schools and at home. Assistive technology is absolutely key in setting our dyslexic students up for success, not only in secondary school, but beyond academia in their working lives. If students are able to receive schoolwork electronically via a Word document when possible, they are able to utilise free software such as Microsoft 365's Immersive Reader tool. Immersive Reader is a tool to assist with reading and comprehension. This includes text-to-speech software so students can listen to long pieces of text read aloud to them. Students can improve their focus on the text by changing font size and style text and line spacing, and background colour. These can all make documents easier to read. 
the Immersive Reader functionality is found in the View tab of the main toolbar. A handy tip with regards to text-to-speech software, such as that found on the Immersive Reader tool, is that it can also be used to read through the student's own typed work. A student can listen to their work being read back to them to hear their mistakes, making it much easier to identify and correct their work. The RNIB, or the Royal National Institute for Blind People, offer a free bookshare scheme to schools with an extensive range of audio or talking books and textbooks. Schools can get free access by setting up an online account and books are then freely available for visually impaired students and also for students with dyslexia who benefit from using audio textbooks and reading books. There are myriad assistive tech resources for dyslexic learners and it could easily be an entire webinar in itself. For more information on assistive technology to support dyslexic learners, please see the linked blog I wrote at the end of the presentation called Dyslexia and the Brilliance of Assistive Technology, which includes links to more useful resources. The BDA have a very useful free e-learning module available on their website. Just search assistive technology on their British Dyslexia Association website.